Today on Health Corner, giving people with impaired vision a new outlook on life. We're enhancing the ability of those neurons to work harder and to receive the signal where there was no signal available. Turning family events into family traditions. He's 14 and he still looks forward to it. Plus, our genes, our ancient genes, have come into conflict with our environment. What in the world is diabetes? And welcome to Health Corner. I'm Dr. Lisa Thornton. Today, a remarkable treatment giving many people with impaired vision a new outlook on life. Welcome back to Health Corner. In some cases, the brain has a remarkable ability to rewire itself when it's damaged. That's the science behind vision restoration therapy. Once again, here's Jessica Gomez. Twice a day, Bart Goldstein sits at his computer. And while you might think he's playing a video game or doing his homework... I have to focus on this, um, central point. Bart is actually working with breakthrough technology most people have never even heard of. The treatment is called Vision Restoration Therapy, or VRT. If the visual part of the brain is damaged, this therapy can stimulate alternative regions in the brain to enhance recovery. Dr. Randy Marshall, a neurologist at Columbia University Medical Center, uses the computerized therapy to treat his patients. This visual therapy actually works for any type of brain injury, such as a traumatic brain injury from an accident or stroke. Four years ago, Bart was in a terrible car accident. He spent 31 days in a coma and suffered speaking and vision loss. He's blind to the right in both eyes. It's called hemanopsia, brain blindness. It's untreatable, it's intractable, but not anymore. Dr. Marshall recommended VRT. The patient has this device at home and for 20 minutes, twice a day, uh, they stare at a central spot on the visual screen and stimuli come up in their visual field. As those spots of light come up, in the border zone between where they can see and where they can't see. This is acting to stimulate a specific part of the visual cortex in the brain. The black areas are where he can't see. Only a handful of facilities in the U.S., including Columbia, offer this high-tech therapy that's tailored to each patient's needs. So far, about 65% of them will show a noticeable improvement of, let's say, 20% increase in the size of their visual field. If you translate that, a 5-degree increase in visual angle is about the size of a page of print held at arm's length. The treatment is designed to last for six months. Just weeks into it, Bart saw improvements in his vision and overall concentration. It's getting better as time progresses. I think it's made it a little more easier for me to uh, get these certain uh, simple tasks done. Researchers are finding that the therapy works just as well in older people as in younger patients. And it's working for people who have lived with vision loss for a long time. And it also tells us that the brain is really capable of recovery and reorganization and plasticity even uh, you know, at a, at a later, a chronic period, and, and even in a later age. Even though the changes may be subtle, vision rehabilitation therapy has changed Bart's life for the better. Bart looks like he is one of our success stories. He's had improvement in his vision. It's actually opened new doorways and, like, uh, maybe more cognitive. With the VRT, he's more and more his old self. And uh, we're all very proud of the way that he's hung in there. For Health Corner, I'm Jessica Gomez. For more information about vision restoration therapy, visit the Health Corner TV website. When we come back, getting your kids hooked on books. <laughs>